professionally. I like to be Francesca, but you can yeah. call me Frankie. I started off in my tiny little flat in central London. Uh, it was me and my boyfriend doing class in the same room. Like every time I lifted my leg, we were, we, we were both touching legs and kicking each other. And just, <laughs> I love fashion. I constantly buying things and then I just wear the same thing literally every single day. Really unattractive like tracksuit bottoms that I actually found for five euros. I just came on did like the first thing and I just felt something go and I could just feel the air on my chest and I was like no this is not good. The audience they sniff beer like part of the skill is just everything's always fine. You have to everything's always fine yeah. so that everyone can relax and enjoy it even if it's chaos inside your head. <laughs> I can only say ballet shoes. <laughs> Maybe you could be a cobbler. Like, oh, I'm capable. Maybe you could be a cobbler. Just like <laughs> shoes. <laughs> can you imagine? My second career just in a tiny shop in London, just mending shoes. In the evening, we had to do our homework between seven and eight. I would always have um, Vogue behind my maths textbook. My grandma is probably my without realising she's always been sort of like my style icon. I mean, I still pinch all her cardigans. She has the best cardigans in the world. So you want to disappear entirely inside your kimono? Yeah, I mean, you're going to see my neck and my, <laughs> my head <laughs> and my wrist. <laughs> and um, I hope my husband can't hear this. I can guess how much a scarf was. How much